you can see on panel 21, there's two blue lines in there. That was one of those mistakes that we built into the, to the um, shed for the production people. And one of the things that was pointed out during that session is nine times out of 10, the electrical chase in the panel itself is in the right location because those are located with jigs and manually drilled where the, electric, the blue electric line or, or crayon mark that is representative of that chase is done by somebody by hand and they may, may have put it in the wrong spot. So we scribbled out the wrong one and then drew the right one in place. So that's why 21 looks like that. Something else to noteworthy is our electrical chases are put in with heat. They're not, they're not drilled, they're, they're melted in which creates kind of a crispy edge along the edge of, of each chase, which makes it easier to slide Romex through. So they're, they're a little bit more rigid on the, on the edges. Yeah, please. Yeah. Yeah, so the question is, can you put electrical chases in custom places? Yes. Not every company can do that. Some, some don't have the capability to do that. That's one thing we can do. We can put your chases. If you want an extra chase for low voltage, you want to you run a security system, so you want to chase up ten, you know, six feet or eight feet on the wall uh, it's like this, we can put a chase in there for you. That's something you talk to your drafter about as you're going through that process so that it gets marked out on the drawings, and then we can put them into the, into the panels. One of the reasons that we have that capability to put in um, different electrical chase locations or maybe even backing in the panel itself for uh, handicap accessible rails or something, you need something special from that standpoint. You'll see tomorrow when you take the tour, we have two press lines. One is a four foot line and one is the eight foot line. The eight foot jumbo line is similar to what most other manufacturers, that process is what they use. So all of the, the foam is pre-cut, the OSB is the size, the eight by 24 or whatever the jumbo size is. They lay everything up and then they take it over to the Hundiger machine and cut out and shape the panel pieces. So that's one methodology. We use that on, on the jumbo line. Our four foot line, all of the narrow four foot material, all of that is the OSB is all pre-cut on, on the machine called the Onsrud. So each piece of OSB is cut, pre-cut. So there's obviously two pieces for that, the inside and outside or exterior, interior kind of a thing. And then the foam associated with that. And as that's run through the four foot line, they're able to put individual additional materials into the panel. So if, if you wanted a, a foundation panel or a basement panel, and we're gonna space the studs at 16 or 24 inches on center in the panel itself, it would come down the four foot line so that we can put in the additional lumber that's actually acting as the structure in that situation. And then it gets sandwiched together and is run through the press. So we're, Intercept is a little bit different than other panel companies from that standpoint because of our ability to customize that way. Will you be building in 2024? Whether you're building a home, commercial or industrial structure, a multifamily complex, a log cabin, tiny home, or a shop, why not do a cost comparison and get a free estimate to see how much your project will cost when it's built with SIPs? Click the link below and tell us about your project to receive a free, no obligation estimate. SIP construction offers the benefits of a stronger structure, increased energy efficiency, faster installation, and overall a more cost effective project. So if you value comfort, safety, sustainability, a healthy living environment, efficiency, and peace of mind, you may want to consider building with SIPs.